What is going on guys? Welcome to your fifth physics tutorial and in this tutorial we are finally going to be jumping into multiplication with scientific notation. Sounds fun? Oh it is. Well the thing is multiplication is a lot different than addition and subtraction when working with scientific notation. Now I'll tell you guys the rules of how to do it and then I'll walk you guys through a couple examples. The very first thing we need to do is we can't just go ahead and figure out these numbers and then multiply them by each other. We could, but it would just get really messy. So I'm going to show you guys a really easy way. What we do is we take this number, the one without the exponent, and we're going to multiply it by this number. And then what we're going to be doing after that is taking this and multiplying it by this. And then we're going to be multiplying those together. So I know that sounds kind of confusing right now, but trust me I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about so the first thing we need to do is take 6.71 and multiply it by this number right here which is 2.3 and then what we need to do is multiply that by this by this what am I talking about 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth so basically these numbers time these numbers is going to give us our answer. So what is 6.71 times 10 to the 3? Well, the answer to that is 15.433. And now let's go ahead and multiply 10 to the 3rd times 10 to the 5th. Now, in order to multiply 10 to the whatever power, here's what you do. It's 10 to the 3 plus 5. That's the rule for multiplying those numbers. So what we have here is 15.433, that doesn't change, times 10 to the 8th, just like that. And if we look at this, this is kind of in scientific notation already. The only thing we need to do is we need to change our decimal point from here to over here. So in order to do that, we just go ahead and put 1.5433 times 10 to the ninth just like that and this is our final an final answer there you go so there you go that's how you do that just remember whenever you're multiplying one number in scientific notation by another number in scientific notation pull this number and this number and multiply them by each other and then the two other numbers and multiply them by each other so let me go ahead and walk you guys through another example so in that example we use three and 5 which are two positive exponents now let me go ahead and use negative 4 and negative 2 it's a little bit different but it's basically the same thing so again remember the very first thing we need to do is grab 3.2 and I did that again 3.2 and 6.1 so 3.2 times 6.1 surround those in parentheses times 10 to the negative fourth times 10 to the negative 2. So again, 3.2 times 6.1 is 19.52, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So now what we need to do is times, I'm not even going to go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to skip that one step. So what you do is you basically have negative 4 plus negative 2. So 10 to the negative 6 because remember, negative 4 if you add negative 2 to it then you end up with negative 6 so that's how I'm coming up with that exponent right there so now we have to figure out this whole thing right there so basically if you take away those parentheses we're basically in scientific notation right now 19.52 times 10 to the minus 6 that's a variation of scientific notation however if our teacher only wants one digit to the left hand side of the decimal then what we need to do is put 1.952 times 10 to the negative 5 so that's probably what they're looking for right and I can't circle this right there so 1.952 times 10 to the negative 5 is our answer that's going to get us all that bonus points give me some cookies biatch that's what you should say to your teacher if you get it right you know I probably wouldn't take that advice but okay one more example in this last example I have a positive exponent 
and we're going to multiply it by a scientific notation number with a negative exponent. So in order to do that, again, the same rules still apply. We're going to grab 3.18 and we're going to times it by 9.8 and we're going to take that number and times it by 10 to the third times 10 to the negative 5 so let's go ahead and figure out 3.18 times 9.8 first and the answer to that is 31.164 and now what you need to do is times that by again I'm gonna skip this step 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2 so I'm just gonna go ahead and write 10 to the negative 2 and again we are in kind of in scientific notation right there already but what we can do is I'm not even going to write this number in scientific notation because it's easier to see if you just write point three one one six four in standard notation and I wrote that kind of messy so I'll clean it up for you guys three one one six four so there you go and I don't know if you get, if I uh, told this to you guys but um, basically whenever you have something in the range of 10 to the negative 3 or 10 to the positive 3 anything that can fit in between there you don't need to write in scientific notation that's the general rule however if you have a teacher or a really anal um, you know boss or something he may make you always write it in scientific notation but I just think that writing you know 3.1164 times 10 to the negative 1 is a lot more confusing than just writing this. It's really simple when you have small numbers. So, I mean, you can convert the number 1.5 into scientific notation if you want, but it's just stupid. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, that is basically how you multiply using scientific notation. So, uh, in the next tour, I'm going to be talking about dividing, which is a whole nother beast. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.